Hey fellow problem solvers, Colfax Math here. I got my new Colfax Math shirts on. This channel is Math with a Purpose. If you want a shirt like this, uh, they're down below and it'll support this channel. Um, and also support my classroom. I teach high school math and woodshop. Uh, and today's video is gonna be about how to do matrices with a graphing calculator. This is a TI-84, but it'll work on all of the TI graphing calculators. So let me put the camera over my shoulder and we'll get started with matrices. I could do any matrix operation with the TI-84. Um, you could see right here, here's a matrix button in blue right above here. I think you could see that. So there's a matrix button to get it. I hit second. And then there are three options right there. The name of the matrices to do computations on them or to edit them. So let's say I have this purple matrix matrix A and then this blue matrix matrix B and I want to enter them in. The first thing I'm going to do is go over to edit. Edit's highlighted. A is highlighted. I hit enter and I enter the dimensions. This is a three by three, three rows by three columns. So I enter three three then i enter my values there three four six two when i enter my negative one use the negative key down here not the subtraction key so negative one five one two three so i'm all done creating matrix a i'm going to go up here to quit right above there so second quit back to matrix I'm going to edit a second matrix, so I'll scroll over to edit, and then I want to make, enter matrix 2 or matrix B, so I'll scroll down to 2 and hit enter. Matrix B, three rows by two columns, so it's a 3 by 2, and then I'll enter my elements. 7, enter, 3, enter, 5, enter, 4, 0, again using the negative key down here negative two, enter, I'm gonna quit. So now I've entered my two matrices and I could do whatever I want. If I wanna find the inverse of matrix A, I could just go matrix, I wanna select number one, so I hit number one. There's matrix A, here's my inverse key right here. I just matrix A to the inverse and I hit enter. And there's my inverse matrix A. You don't have to scroll over because there's so many significant digits. So let me clear. Let's say I want to do A times B. Well, the first question is, uh, can I multiply them? These are the same, so the answer is yes. And then my solution will be these dimensions here, three by two. So I'm gonna go back to matrix. I'm gonna select matrix A, number one. And then I'm gonna go back to matrix and I'm gonna select matrix B. So I have A times B, I hit enter. And it multiplies these two matrices together and gives me a three by two matrix where the elements are 41, 13, nine, negative eight, 17, five. Okay, let me show you a really cool application you can use matrices for. You could use it for solving systems of equations. Remember, if you have two variables, you need two equations. You could do linear combinations and combine them to get rid of a variable, or you could solve for one of those variables and plug it into the other or you could solve with matrices. It might not be that helpful with two equations, two variables, but you could do it with five equations, five variables. You know, that would take pages of paperwork to do, um, but here we'll be able to do it in no time with matrices. So let me just show you the idea with uh, two variables first, and then we'll do three variables next. So the first thing, you have to have your X value first, and then your Y value, and then equal to a solution. Then I'm going to create a matrix with the coefficients in front. So I'm going to take that 3, negative 2, 5, and 6. I'm going to take that, we'll call that matrix A. I'm going to multiply it by a variable matrix XY. We'll call that V. And then it's going to be equal to a solution matrix. We'll call that matrix B. 20, 5. And you could check that because I have a two by two times a two by one, that would equal a two by one. And then if I multiply these together, I'd have three X plus five Y would equal 20. And that's my equation. And then down here, negative two X plus six Y would equal five. So I have A times V equals B. 
if I wanted to get my variables by itself, I could just take the inverse of a times a, that would cancel. I do that to the left side of the equation. I also do it to the right side. So my variable matrix will be the inverse of a times b. So let's enter these on my calculator first. So again, I'm gonna to go to matrix. I'm gonna edit it first, so I go over to edit. I'm gonna edit number one, enter. It is a two by two, whoops, two by two. And I enter the values three, five, negative two, six. I'll quit, go back to matrix. I'm gonna edit matrix B, so I'll scroll down to two and hit enter. It's a two by one. And I'm gonna enter those values 20 and five. So I'm gonna quit again. And then now I wanna find the inverse of matrix A. So I'm gonna select that matrix, which is number one. So I could just hit enter if it's highlighted to the inverse right here, right here. So matrix A to the inverse, matrix two. So I have the inverse of A times B and I hit enter and it gives me a variable matrix is going to be equal to that right there. Negative 4.6 and 6.786. Put one more significant digit in here. Remember my variable matrix here is x, y, and that thing is equal to another two by one matrix, negative 4.6, 6.8. Well, if a two by one is equal to a two by one, that means this element has to equal this element, and this element has to equal that element. So I solve for x and y, it's gonna be an ordered pair, x is negative 4.6, y is 6.8. And that's how easy it is to solve equations with matrices. I'll just do one more, this time I'll do a three by three. Okay, here's another equation, this one's a little more complicated. I have three variables, three equations, I have my x is all straight down, my y is straight down, and my z is straight down, all in order, and it's equal to my solutions. Once I have my three equations in that order, um, then I'm gonna create matrices. So the matrix I'm gonna create is gonna be five, two, one, three, four, negative one, negative two, one, and four, times my variable matrix x, y, z is equal to my solution matrix, 20, 10, five. Then in blue here, I have A times V equals B. If I want to get V by itself, I'm going to multiply A by the inverse of A. Those will cancel. If I do that to the left side of the equation, I also do it to the right side. So my variable matrix is equal to the inverse of A times B. And then on my calculator, I'm going to go to matrix. I'm going to edit them. So I'll go over to edit, hit enter. I'm going to enter that three by three, five, two, one, so forth. Once I have matrix A entered, I'll quit. I'll go back to matrix. I'll scroll down to number two and hit enter. Whoops. And I enter that as 20, 10, and five. And then I'll clear my screen. And now I want to take the inverse of A times B. So I'm going to go to matrix. I'm going to select A, enter. I'm going to use my inverse key right here. So the inverse of A times matrix two, so I have an inverse of A times B, like on my equation here. I'll hit enter, and it'll give me my solution matrix. So my solution matrix is 3.1578, I'll round it to 3.16, 0 0.789, 2.63. So that means if my variable matrix is equal to my solution matrix, and they're both three by ones, that all makes sense. That means the elements have to be equal. So X has to equal 3.16. There's my first solution for X. Y has to equal 0.79. My solution for Y and Z is equal to 2.63. So I'm able to solve systems of equations with matrices. It might be a little helpful if you have two equations, two variables, but really helpful when you start having five equations, five variables, about the only way you could do it is with matrices. So please comment below if you have any questions, if you want me to do any other matrix problems or questions on the TI-84 in math class, really very powerful tool. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit like. And if you're new to the channel, think about subscribing and also check out my shirts below. I'm excited about those. 
Okay, thank you.